Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be looking at three counters that incorporate a reverse grip strike. The first counter we're gonna look at today, guys, is gonna be that vertical low parry followed with an angle two or angle eight strike. So I'm gonna be either striking the crown of somebody's head or just off to the side of the shoulder. Now this strike has a good uh, windmill power. So I'm gonna strike here. The bow is gonna come all the way around in a circular motion generating all kinds of power. Okay, so we're gonna step out to the side, follow up with that strike, okay? Again, I'm bringing the bow up high to block something that's coming down low and then I'm just windmilling it around. If you'll notice, I'm using my hip still as I come through on my strike, okay? Let's fire off this one a few times, guys. Of course, you can go to the shoulder too. Number two that we're gonna look at today is gonna be a horizontal low block followed with a reverse thrust. So I'm gonna take the bow, I'm again, I'm gonna be in that reverse grip. I'm gonna take one step back, using my hips to come across, and then I'm gonna slide in and strike my opponent. Targets could be anywhere on the face, the neck, maybe the sternum, okay? So again, I'm gonna be in a right fighting stance. I'm gonna take one step back, and I'm gonna do that low line block. I'm gonna shuffle through and move into my strike. Now again, on this one, I wanna make sure that I'm using my hips again, coming around in a nice strong block, retracting the bow and getting maximum force into that strike. I wanna step into that strike to get maximum force. Okay, together with me guys, and stepping back. Always keep your eyes on the target, guys. We don't wanna throw any blind strikes. Our third counter that we're gonna look at today, guys, is gonna be a high block followed with an angle two strike. So it's what I'm gonna be doing, is I'm gonna be sliding in, and then again, I'm following a windmill motion. So I'm blocking up something high, bringing the bow around, and following through with my strike, okay? So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna slide in and block, chamber the bow around, using that windmill motion, and again guys, when I'm using that windmill motion, I wanna use my hips on that last portion of the strike so that I can really lever that bow coming down, okay? So let's go through this one a couple times, guys. We're gonna go in high block, chamber, and then that windmill angle two strike. Again, block, angle two. There you have it guys, that's three strikes that incorporate a reverse grip strike. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep training hard everyone.